giving him the type of encouragement and support that he needs so that you could live in the shadow of his luxury. I want to give my wife everything. It gives me a boner to buy my wife stuff, to see my wife basking in luxury. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, my question. I understand it, agree with your idea that men should provide for the family, which allows the wife to focus on nurturing the household. How do you feel about a man of our caliber dating a female artist, especially with the fact that they seem appealing in one way or another? Uh, I think that's great. I think that's amazing. I think that's what Stephen Arneo refers to in his book, The Oracle, as feminine luxury. And when we live in a rightly ordered world, not like the diabolical disorientation that we live in today, but when we live in a rightly ordered world, meaning that men are men and women are women, women can relax into their role and men can step up into their role. And neither party will be afraid to be all that they should be. Men are afraid to be men because women are going to take advantage of them. Women are afraid to be women because men are going to take advantage of them. Nobody could freaking relax. Nobody could be what they meant to be. Men feel like when they're being too much of a man that they're toxic. And when women feel like they're being too much of a woman that they're, they're, they're not fulfilling their purpose, right? If a woman decides that she wants to be a homemaker and a wife and, and have children like a traditional woman, that the world doesn't see that as valuable. So men aren't allowed to be men and women are not allowed to be men, uh, women. But what you're describing is the traditional gender roles and the way things should be. When a man, out of all of his love and dedication to the family that he chooses to have, he chooses a woman and he chooses to have a family, it is in our nature, it feels so good to want to give everything to them. I really and truly believe that that's man's nature. I know that's our nature. A man's nature is not selfish. A man's nature is to provide. We want to provide. Now, it's very hard in this world where we've been told, you know, YOLO, and that it's better to be selfish and, you know, get mine, get yours, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the whole, everything is, and which is truly effeminate. It's all about men, teaching men to be selfish. But I think when things are rightly ordered and men are being men, men are selfless. Men are selfless. Men are the, are the biggest givers in the world. That's why men create so much in the world. That's why men create societies. That's why men create all the technology because we want to give our gifts. We just want to give. And so when a man is free to do that without, without the, uh, the fear of being taken advantage of, Right, because that's ultimately ends up what happens, right? What happened, you know, they get taken advantage of because they're so generous. But when a man, when a man could be that way and can live that way and is held up in high regard for his status as a provider and as a protector and as a leader in the home or, you know, with his woman, then guess what women can do? They can relax. She could be an artist. She could be a musician. She could she could sew stuff. She could just she could be like my wife. My wife does this is what my wife does. She does yoga. She goes to private tennis lessons. She gets massages and she uh, works out in the gym. She does all. She just she lives a life of feminine luxury. Why does my wife get to live a life of fe feminine luxury? Because gender roles, traditional gender roles. And Arneo talks about this in his book, uh, The Oracle, that it is, it, it's a woman's privilege. This is true female privilege, not feminist privilege, not the BS privilege that women believe that they, that they should be chasing after, which is to be a man. You, why, what was appealing to have the privilege to be like a man, right? To do the things that men do. That's, that's saying that men are better than you. Right. I have the privilege to go and compete with men in the marketplace and I'll go and get a whole bunch of degrees and I'm going to be a high powered, you know, bull dyke woman. That doesn't that's not that's not being a, a woman. That's a, being a fake man. And that's what, what a lot of you know women, they think that it's their right to be. Which if, look, hey, oh, that's fine. But don't glorify that shit. But you know what's even better? Finding a real man a real provider, a real protector, a generous man, honoring him, respecting him, and giving him 
the type of encouragement and support that he needs so that you could live in the shadow of his luxury. I want to give my wife everything. It gives me a boner to buy my wife stuff, to see my wife basking in luxury, right? I really want that for her. And I think if you ask most women, what would you rather, a career or a life of feminine luxury, right? Take care of the children, take care of the home. You don't have any stress, whatever you want. And so to answer your question, man, uh, I think that's great. I, would, that, I think that's amazing. Your wife is an artist, let her be an artist and decorate the whole house. Let her make all kinds of beautiful paintings for the home. One thing I would say is that guard against this when she start if she if she decides to start becoming very too ambitious outside the home, then I see that as a problem. Because then the children suffer. Then the then the family suffers because mom is is trying to play the dick role again. She's trying to get out there and joke the world. Boy, I'm going to get mine, right? That's not that's not very feminine. But if she's just being an artist, she's being an artist, she's creating art, she's creating beauty. And even if she offers it, right, and it, but it doesn't take away from the family, offer it. Make a website, put it out there. But when she starts becoming real ambitious and she, and she has to leave the family for a week because she has to go to an art gallery, right, or she decides she's going to become, you know, the president of the, of the local art museum and all that kind of shit, like, then, it's, then that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is she really just letting the spirit, the beautiful feminine spirit within her express itself through beautiful art. And if you decide that you want to help her and maybe, you know, and it doesn't take away from the family, it doesn't take away from what you're doing to help her sell them, that's fine. But it's a beautiful thing that if you could provide a situation where your wife could really fully express her, 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 her creativity. And the greatest, the greatest, the greatest form of creativity on this planet, the most magical form of creativity on this planet th that has never ending potential and possibilities. And it, in fact, it provides the greatest gifts to this planet, childbearing making babies what's more creative what could possibly be more creative than making babies and then growing a family you know if you make babies and grow a good family a rightly ordered family a holy family in this world that you're one of the greatest artists that that live right now because most people can't do it that's our art that's our art believe that growing a family a healthy family especially in this diabolically disoriented age where everything's freaking upside down and it's so hard to do, is a work of art. It's a masterpiece if you could do that. So I hope that helps you, dude. Just a little thoughts on that. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives. If that sounds like you, you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and me and my team will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.